This is the installation guide for the Trex Rain Escape product. This is the installation detail for using the Trex Rain Escape product on applications that don't have flashing. When installing the Trex Rain Escape trough material without flashing, you'll go ahead and install the trough material first. We do recommend using flashing in most applications, but we understand that in some cases, whether you're going up against brick or stucco, you cannot flash behind. The reason that we want to put down the trough material first is that the butyl caulking that we use is very, very sticky and messy. And to keep the area clean and the caulking covered, we install it after the trough material is in. You'll just lift up the trough material and you will run a heavy bead in between the ledger board and the house making sure that you fill all voids, cracks, and crevices. Once we've caulked the ledger board into the house, we want to go ahead and pre-cut all of our, our first deck board. The reason that we want to cut this and measure to make sure it fits is because once we put down the second layer of caulking, to remove the deck board would be messy. After the decking has been pre-cut and measured, then we're going to go ahead and lay a second bead of caulking. This bead is going to lay on top of the trough material, caulking it into the siding, making sure that it covers up both the edge of the trough material and is against the house. Once that's done, then we can install the deck board and attach to the joist. Whether you're using a hidden fastener system or a standard face screw, we can go ahead and install the decking. Because some decking manufacturer warranties will not allow you to caulk the deck board into the siding, Typically, builders will go ahead and add a piece of trim so that they can caulk the trim board into the house, making a good watertight seal so that as water runs down the face of the siding, it will roll out onto the caulking, onto the trim piece, and then onto the deck board. This way we get water at least 4 inches to 5 inches away from the ledger board.